Hey guys, this is CACMK2004 with all my beautiful people today. Um, today I'm basically just going to be doing a sit and down talk with you guys. Um, I have not done this in a while because these really don't get a lot of views on them, but I just say, you know what, what the heck. I'm not even doing it for the views anymore, guys. I'm just doing it because I like it and thought it'd be something cool to do. So what I'm going to be doing today is, um, basically just talk about, um, I guess basically for girls, your first period, you know how your very first period is, you know, everything that just happens during the first period, you know, what happens to you, you know, what happens to your body, you know, everything that you have to go through. I'm going to tell you guys my experience, then I'm going to go from there. So guys, when I got my first period, um, I was probably, probably only 10. <laughs> I know, right? Shocker. <laughs> Um, that's when I started. I, I think I was in fifth grade, I believe, which I was 10, 10 or 11 I was. I was just really young. Um, so when I got my first period, I remember going to the restroom. It was during school and during, fifth grade for me was in the best year, as I've said in one of my videos that I did put. Fifth grade was very kind of bad for me. It was in the best year ever, you know, plus period and stuff. It just got really bad. <laughs> so I remember clearly being in fifth grade I was I always kind of I was very shy in that year I don't know why I just didn't really want to talk to anyone um so what I ended up doing was just being alone I used to eat in the restroom in my school restroom yeah guys you guys did hear it correctly I remember that day I was actually going to the restroom I went to the restroom I was by myself and I saw blood blood on my cotex I was like, dang. And at first, I was kind of scared because I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck is this? You know, what's wrong with me? You know, and yeah, my mom did talk to me about my period, so I kind of didn't know about it. I just was not expecting it so soon. Um, so then I look at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, wow, you know. And then afterwards, I thought it was nothing, but then afterwards, I started to get very bad cramping in my stomach, like very bad cramping. And up to this day, I get very severe PMS, which includes severe cramping to the point that I cannot get up out of my bed sometimes. Um, when I get my period, it comes very toughly for me. It's very strong, um, but we'll get into that a little later in this video. But anyways, guys, that was my experience on how I started. And yes, my face was breaking out a lot. You know, I did not feel very comfortable. You know, it was not the best year, as I've said. You know, I was dealing, trying to deal with this thing, you know, it smelled bad, you know, I stayed myself, it was just very embarrassing. Um, so I remember after that day, through that, that year, I was like, you know what, I got it, you know, I got used to it. So basically, when you do get your period, it's very, it's kind of tough, you know, because it means you're kind of like a young lady now, I guess, you know, you're not like a little girl, you can get pregnant when you do get your period, you are at risk of getting pregnant. Um... I'm not trying to make your period sound really bad. I mean, because it's a very good thing if you do get it. Because it does mean, this means okay, usually that you can have kids. You know, usually everything is functioning in your woman system. Um, and usually it means that you're okay. You know, because people that do not get their period actually get very sick. You know, they're prone to getting fevers. You know, because all that blood and stuff, guys. You know, gets stuck in your stomach. And FYI, guys. If you guys are eating, do not see this video. I forgot to mention that on my first thingy, majingy, posting it, making a video. Um, but yeah, when you do eat, um, sometimes also your stomach may hurt. You know, there's a lot of stuff you cannot eat also when you have your period. You know, for In my case, if I eat a lot of hot sauce and I am very in love with hot sauce, I cannot sadly eat it right now at the moment, but... If I do eat it, I get very bad cramping. I get very sick. Um, and that's what was happening to me a lot of times. Because I just had a lot of hot sauce, you know, hot Cheetos you know, and everything. Um, it did not help it. So I just made it worse. And that's one of my advices, guys. You know, if you know that it kind of makes you sick, you know, why suffer the pain, right? Um, just don't do it. You know, don't drink it. You know, don't eat it if you guys know what happens to you. I mean, it's only a few days of the week. You know, that you, a few days in a week that you do have to deal with the period, you know. Um, I do know some girls do not get their period every month. Some are like, they get it randomly, like, they don't get it, like, straightly. My period was always every month that I got it, you know. 
but I do know some people in my life that do not get their period every month. They got it every two months, every three months. I don't know what that's called. Um, I guess it's just every so months, I guess. So that's even harder to know if even if you're pregnant, you know, because you do not get your period every month. Um, but in my case, that's that's what I was going through. Um, then again, guys, do keep in mind, you know, you're growing up. It's a beautiful thing. You know, it's a very kind of stressful thing because it does mean you're you're maturing. Um, but it's also be very beautiful because that's what makes you a woman. You know that. Um, also, guys. Um, that was my experience. I know this video was very short and detailed, but that's my experience on how I got my period and how period and how I dealt dealt with it. Um, and also, note to self: if you do have severe cramping, um, put a hot towel on your stomach or something, or lay down. Usually, what I do is I drink a lot of cold stuff, and it kind of does numb the pain away. And also do work out, guys. Surprisingly, you're not going to believe this, but if you do work out, the pain does go away. It really does. Just because you get your period does not mean you cannot work out. It just means you have to work out, and it actually does help you. Anyways, guys, that was my advice and some tips of mine. Um, feel free to comment. Feel free to write questions. You know, if it this, if you think if you think something else of it, feel free to comment down below. You know, I'm always. Up to new questions and answers. Um, I love you guys very much, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.